Welcome to Soul Infused Monday. Like every Monday, welcome to Soul Infused Monday. Okay, great, fantastic. So, as always, and I know it always takes a moment for people to jump, jump in, if you are watching this live or if you're watching this on the recording, send me a quick message, not a message, leave a comment below, let me know you're here with your name and if you can see and hear me. So, regardless if you are live right now or on the replay, leave a comment so I know you're there and I can see who's there. Maria, hola, fantastic. Can you see and hear me clearly? Especially the sound would be more important to me. Give me some likes, give me some love, and we're gonna jump in. Today is a new day. Today is a new start to your week, your week. What you make out of it is totally up to you, and what a beautiful and fantastic way to start the new week by getting some inspiration, by getting your energy shifted, and by joining Soul Infused Monday. Okay, yes, it's fine. Okay, you see and hear me clearly. Okay, so until uh, everyone else is jumping in, today's topic is the power of words. How to shift your energy and your language so that you can get your power back. And I'm also going to share one sentence, one phrase, one thing that we often use that actually takes our power away or keeps us stuck and most likely you're not even aware of it that you're doing it and it's most likely not what you expect it to be so stay tuned and in the end if you're just jumping in give me some love and like so that i know you're hearing me sometimes there's a little bit of delay leave a comment below say hello and where you're from and one last question i have for you before we jump in have you watched soul infused monday before i'm just curious if you guys know me or if you're totally new to me. Hi, Tine. Fantastic. I'm running a self-love boot camp at the moment. It's a beautiful journey of amazing women. And I'm just sharing that because Tina is one of them. And I just love that. I love you guys. You're doing an amazing job already. Okay. The power of words. You might have heard me say this before. Everything is energy. Every thought, every emotion, everything you do, everything carries a certain frequency, everything is energy. And have you ever experienced that you said something with a certain intention, with a good intention, and then the response of someone else was completely different and you were wondering, oh, well, that's not what I meant, you know, and it just had kind of a disconnect. Does, did that ever, does that happen to you? I mean, do you, do you get that? and that you use a certain phrase and the response is completely different. So I, I, I get that. So how we use our words is one, but the energy behind the words is even more important. So today I'm only gonna use one piece and you, if you've heard this before, stay tuned because it can go a little deeper. And what I keep seeing and hearing over and over again when I talk to people, is how they use disempowering words and phrases and language and they're not even aware of it. Why? And I've been guilty of this too because I wasn't aware of it either. So we don't learn the good stuff in school. So now we get to learn it as adults. Jane from England. Yes, I've seen you before. Fantastic. Jane, I don't think I've heard from you before. Welcome to the Soul Infused Monday. I love it. I have a lot of people joining in from the UK and Europe. So that's, that's definitely something um, that I love to hear. Okay, let's jump into it. I want to start with the one phrase that I just mentioned that you might be using without noticing that it's actually blocking you and that it's stopping you from maybe taking a step further. Do you want to know what that sentence is? It is, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's, I know this already. And just tune in with yourself for a moment. Just tune in for a moment. Have you ever listened to someone, read something, gone to a workshop, and you hear something, and your mind says, yeah, yeah, I know this already. Be honest, I I'm guilty of it. And I'm starting the show today because this is so powerful in a reversed way that you might not be aware of it. So leave a comment below. Who in here has used that before? 
no you're using sometimes without any shame without any guilt just just for the sake of sharing oh yeah I know this already I know this already who has said that before and Maria is just saying it happens a lot to me sometimes the intention is good but people take it wrong because of their self-esteem okay it's not that people take it wrong so that's a great I love what you just shared Maria um, because everything is about words today and empowerment um, you are responsible for everything you do and you are the creator of your life. So you can use everything you do as an opportunity for you to get even better and clearer with your communication. Because yes, everybody hears everything through the filters of their own beliefs, their own self-esteem. So you, that's absolutely true. And at the same time, when you have an intention and the reaction is completely different from what you thought you were doing, the very empower, uh, empowering thing to do is to check in. How did I create this? How did I communicate that I got that response instead of that response that I wanted? Because that is giving yourself the power to improve and to communicate even better. So I love that you shared that. And it's never about wrong or right. It's about what's the, what's the outcome? What's the result? What's the experience? Experience. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, so it's not so much about finding the right thing, the right or wrong words. It's really about the energy behind it. But that is going into a deeper topic that I'm not going to be able to address here today. But I'm happy to do so if you guys want me to. So take a nice deep breath. Breathing is always fantastic to start your day, to start the, any moment. Be present, remove any distractions, and allow yourself to be the most important person in this moment because you are. You are actually always the most important person. But that's a different story. Okay. Yes, me too, Jane. Okay, fantastic. So what I want to share today are the words that we are using on a regular basis that are so un often, so unconscious, so automatic that we keep using them without noticing that we are actually taking our power away, that it's disempowering us and how to shift it. And why I started with the, I know this already, is because you might know this already, and yet I bet with you that you're still using this word sometimes. With my private clients uh, that I work at uh, for a year, and that's only one piece, a small piece that I share with them and they practice it and they know it. And after a couple of months, still sometimes, you know, I help them to remember, I help them to shift and help them to implement it because to create a new habit, a new conditioning is, takes time. So last week on Soul Infuse Monday, I shared about how to break a bad habit. So that might be something worthwhile to look at if you have not watched it yet. Okay. Hi, Gail. Gail is here. Self-love bootcamp is in the house. Fantastic. Okay, so does this make sense so far? Or have you heard this already? <laughs> or both? Uh, you know, I think to laugh about things and to bring humor into even deep transformation is important because sometimes we take ourselves too serious and we beat ourselves up and we judge ourselves and we are in that pressure, pressure, pressure energy and today I wanted to lighten it up. So take a nice deep breath, relax your body. And these are the words that I would highly recommend you to erase completely from your vocabulary because if you do, it will make a huge difference in your life. And if you catch yourself saying, yeah, sure, Sonia, I know this already. Be aware from now on that every time you say that, you actually close the door to go deeper because anything that we know already, first of all, knowing it alone doesn't help you. Only if you truly implement it makes a transformation, a shift. So even if you've heard this already, take it as a reminder, as a constant reminder. I still read reminders, you know, every day a reminder. At some, time, at some point it's so natural to you that you won't even use these phrases anymore. Okay, so. Number one is, I can't. And you might say, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Watch yourself how often you say, I can't. And I want to 
that, take that one in particular because sometimes people <laughs> um, fight that because yeah, but I can't do that, you know? It's about the power and the energy around the word and the question, is this empowering me? Is this making me feel good? Or is this cutting my energy off? Is it cutting my power off? Is this collapsing me? Okay? So when you say I can't, that means you're closing the door. There's no option. There's no opportunity. There's no way to move somewhere. Instead of saying I can't, you can say something. Let's say it in the lower frequency yet. Still. Like, you know, instead of saying, oh, yeah, I can, because maybe you don't really know how to. But you see the shift already? For example, give me something, you guys, that resonates with you when you say, yeah, but I can't do that, Sonia. Give me an example, and I use one of your examples to make a point, because then you that are live here right now can actually use the opportunity to get some extra coaching. So anyone who wants to share something, write, I can't, and dot, dot, dot. Whatever you think you can't, Whatever you know you're saying, even though you are aware it's not a very empowering thing to do, but let's be real and honest here, share with me, I can't. I can't leave my job. Colleen, great, and hi, Colleen, I'm so happy you're here. That's a great example, super example. Thank you so much for sharing that. So, I can't leave my job. First, we're going to look at it from a very logical perspective, from a truth perspective. Is that true that you can't leave your job? Are you not able to? Uh, don't you have the voice to say it? Don't you have fingers to write a resignation? So here's the difference. Of course, you can leave your, jo your job. You just choose not to. Does that make sense? It's a choice. You always have a choice. You make choice out of your best possible intentions, uh, resources at that very moment. That might not be what you really want to do, but in that moment you feel like, okay, I want to leave my job, but I don't because I would like to keep the financial security. Does that make sense? Please let me know if that makes sense and give me another example if you want your own example. So instead of saying, I can't leave my job, Colleen, you would say, I choose not to leave my job. I choose not to leave my job. Because that's the truth, and the truth is always more empowering. You could even say something like, I don't want to leave my job because I'm scared. Um, so it's always a choice. Say, I, instead of saying I can't, I choose to. I choose to. That's one very powerful shift. That's only one, that's, there are many options. However, this is one powerful, one powerful shift. If you only implement this one, only this one, will make a huge difference. And why this is also difficult, especially in our society, is it's actually about taking responsibility. And unfortunately and sadly, all of us grow up not taking responsibility, not saying the truth. It's kind of like staying in a very disempowering place. So you're saying, I choose to is also you taking responsibility for your life, for yourself, and then you have different options. Okay. I use the I can't rule with my kids. I ask them to change it to I will try, even if it is very difficult. And sometimes they manage to do it. It can, and it's empowering for them and their self-esteem. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Even though trying, I would even... Uh, you change that word, but that's great. And you know what I love about this, Maria? That you teach your kids. So once you implement it for yourself, and you need to be very, very good with it yourself, because if you keep saying, I can't, no matter who you tell not saying, they will absorb this. So love it, love it, love it. If you have children, make it a playful game in the house to remove I can't from the vocabulary. And if some, if you, for, I give you another example so that someone doesn't jump in and say, yeah, Sonia, but I can't fly, right? Well, I don't know how to fly. I don't actually know if I can. I think everything is possible. But instead of saying I can't, I say I don't know how. And I don't know how keeps it open then that if there's a possibility or an opportunity that I can learn it. Um, but I obviously don't know how to fly either. 
But you know, let's keep it very practical. Some, some, someone said that to me and I was like, yeah, I get that and you can challenge it. But it's not about challenging it, it's about how to use your words, how to use your daily language to empower yourself. Okay, does it make sense so far? It is a little water. So, I'm gonna only use two examples today so that you can practice just those two because, and even if you only practice one, will make a difference in your life. And you will be shocked. You will be shocked how often you actually say these words because they're so automatic. They're so, so automatic. So, good, I choose to work from, yes. Fantastic, okay, good. So, I can't just say either I choose to or I will, if it's something that you do actually want to do. I am not, for example. I'll give you another, um, another example. And I'm taking it very literal here with I can. I sometimes think, am I able to? I was at the gym this morning and they're opening up a class tomorrow, even though usually Tuesdays is not a class. It's always Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And not that you care about that, but my point is sharing this with you. They're saying, hey, we're gonna offer a, a class every week this week because the gym is actually closing. So we wanna get as much in that we can. And someone asked me, can you come tomorrow? And I nearly said, no, I can't, but I can, but I choose not to because I actually have a call tomorrow and I don't wanna reschedule my, my, my clients in order to be able to go to the gym. So it's a choice. Can I come? Yes, I totally can. I can go to outside my house. I can use my legs. I can go on my bike or whatever and go to the gym. But I'm not going. So instead of saying I can't, I say I'm not coming tomorrow. I'm not coming tomorrow. Instead of saying I can't. It's a, a simple shift, but it's very powerful. Just trust me that if you keep doing and practicing that, that makes a huge difference. I can't afford it, one of our biggest challenges. Yeah, oh, I, would, I would love to do that, but I can't afford it. You choose not to. If you really wanted to, you could. I could if I wanted to. It's also very powerful. Okay, good. I can't. Let's wrap it up with one more. It's I have to. I love that one. I love to re you guys to remove that from your vocabulary as well. I have to. I have to usually comes with an energy of pressure and guilt and um, being trapped. Or oh, I have to. I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to wash my laundry. I have to, whatever you have to, but you don't have to do anything. You also choose to. You get to. Feel the difference. Oh, I have to complete this task by tomorrow. I have to. Energy is low. I get to. I get to, I get to actually create this for my job. Oh, I get to. I get to, whatever you get to. Give me examples if this makes sense. And I'm here for a few more minutes. So if you want a very tangible, concrete example for your life, or there's something that doesn't make sense to you, tell me, because then I can give you really specific feedback. Erase I can't from your, voc from your vocabulary, and erase I have to from your vocabulary and erase even more. I know this already. <laughs> and again, I've been super guilty of this, especially when I was learning more and more and I was getting better in what I was doing and I'm an expert in something, especially if you're an expert in something. It's so easy for us to say, oh, I know this already. And it's actually not too long ago. And I'm, I always love to be transparent. I was at this uh, seminar, um, a weekend seminar. It was about transformation, it was in work. And I've done so much that part of me also was sitting there thinking, man, I know all of this already. And I realized it and I noticed that for the amount of time that I was in that thought process of, I know this already, yeah, I know this already, that my whole system closes up and I couldn't actually absorb or receive anything. And that doesn't happen often anymore, but it does. So I'm sharing this with you honestly because in that moment, I... I, uh, it doesn't matter if it was for five minutes, for 10 minutes, for an hour, for three days, for a year, but even for, those, for that period of time, I was actually not open to receive something new because I had that thought and, that, and that, uh, the words in my head, I know this already. 
Can anyone relate to this? Just tell me. Or am I totally off track here? <laughs> okay, fantastic. Do you have any last questions, any comments? And if not, here's my challenge for you for the week. Who of you who are watching live or who are watching the replay is willing to practice this for a whole week between this Monday and next Monday every day to erase I can't and I have to from your vocabulary and to substitute it with I choose to or I get to or simply I'm going to. Who is willing to do that? Let me know. Anyone who's here live and who is on the replay just say yes, 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 me, I'm committed, I want to do it and do it. And why leave it on a comment? Because when you blur it out in the open, it always has more power. And it's always about you being empowered within yourself and the words that you're using make a bigger impact that you might think they do. Okay, Colleen is willing to do that. Fantastic. And I can hold you accountable for that. It makes sense. Totally. We sometimes use too much. I have to. Yeah, I have to so much. Thanks for the lesson. Words are so powerful. Just reading those comments here. Yes, Amy. Hi, Amy. Amy said yes, she's willing to do that. So who else is willing for a week to practice, to erase I can't and I have to from your vocabulary? Janice says yes. Karen says yes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, yes. So what do you get to do this week? Practice your first practice. And I'm ex I I'm ex um, I'm taking it a little longer today, but it's just one more minute. I want to get you one step further for your practice. For all of those, for all of you who said yes, in the comment section, leave a comment with a new statement right now before you jump off this call and before I am finishing the Soul Infused Monday show for today. Say either I get to or I choose to or whatever you choose Start your practice right now. Take action. Don't fall into, yeah, I'm going to do it later. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Or, yeah, I know this already. I can relate to this. Thank you for the reminder. Yes, I will do it. Okay, yes, I will do it. It's already good. I'm staying here one more minute. Everyone who said it, Karen, Janice, Amy, Colleen. Uh, Maria didn't say yes, but I, I think she's in. Gail, whoever is still on the call, this is your opportunity to practice right away so that you shift your energy already right now. I'm going to wait a few seconds because there's always a delay. And I give you an example. So I get to do today, one of the things that I get to do today is to sit down and create a speech, a, a talk that I've been invited to. And I get to take the time to actually work on that. And how exciting is that? Yes, I get to practice. I love it. Colleen, super awesome. You get to practice. Yes. Imagine you would have said, I have to practice. Oh, doesn't feel good, right? But I get to practice. It's great. I get to choose my words to empower my life. Yeah, exactly. You get to because you are the creator of your life and no one else. One more. I choose to leave the hospital before Friday. I <laughs> love it. Yes, Karen. And I know you're there until Friday. And you get to and you choose to. Fantastic. I choose to live my beautiful life now. Gail, love it. And what? And you don't have to post it, but just to take it one notch further, what is this one thing you will do today that is in alignment with what you just wrote? Okay. I got to bomb. I almost, um, I'm four minutes longer. I wish you a fantastic day. A happy Monday. Like, love, and share this Soul Infused Monday. If you find this valuable, if there is a person in your life that you know will learn and benefit from a moving I can't and I have to from their lives, share it with them. Tag them. Send them a message. Practice together. The power of community is incredible. So... Love you, and I will see you next Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Time.